So someone is asking me if I have done the deed with Hojun. Kinda provoked a little bit of anxiety in me. What if I steal your boyfriend from you? I wanna know about your first kiss. It wasn't easy for me to stand out so much. Can you say, 사랑해? Okay, so someone actually asked if Hojun is possessive over me. So the thing is, I have a neighbor and he's- Hey guys! The weather is insanely good outside, so I'm gonna go outside and make the Q&A, but I'm gonna first finish this coffee. I'm so excited to talk to you guys! We have so much to talk about. Guys, it's so warm today. When will you go back to Korea? Not anytime soon because I need to graduate from my university. Someone is asking when I will meet Hojun again. The plan is that Hojun comes to Denmark soon. Isn't it difficult to trust the other person when in a long distance relationship? I can imagine that it would be much more toxic. I think I've learned a lot from previous experiences with dating and having relationships. Hojun is such a green flag, honestly. Like it really depends on the partner. How do you feel about living alone? Well, I've been living alone since I was 18 years old, so quite normal it sometimes does get quite lonely you know yeah i mean you get used to everything right it's not like too bad let's move on guys hi do you get clingy and if so how do you manage not to be annoyed with yourself i used to be a very clingy person i've really learned to just take care of myself and not overthink too much i think so someone is asking if i have done the deed with hojun No? You guys are making me exercise. That's me. Oh my god, so upright. <laughs> guys, I just realized that the autofocus has not been on all this time, so I'm really sorry. <laughs> How I felt the first time I met Hojun, really nervous and also very excited. I felt like I knew Hojun. So the first time I met him, I remember we were both wearing a mask. It wasn't like we could see each other that well, except for the eyes and of course the body height and stuff. But we couldn't really see each other. It was actually really awkward when I first met him because he was so awkward and I was really awkward. But I still tried to be like open-minded and just hug him. I just remember it was such a weird feeling. I loved it. Um, what is your height and weight? My height is 160. I haven't weighed myself for a long time. I believe I weigh around 50 kilograms. I'm not sure. How was your experience living in Korea for a period of time? So Hojin and I lived quite far away from Central. I did not have any friends in Korea. I just hung out with Hojun all the time. Although that was amazing, I did feel a bit too dependent on him. Not even being able to speak with Korean people outside when I'm alone kind of provoked a little bit of anxiety in me when Hojun wasn't there. So I definitely have to to learn more Korean. You're still studying, what are your plans for the future with your boyfriend? I don't think I officially told anyone, but Hojun has gotten a visa in Denmark until the beginning of next year. He can actually come to Denmark now and we can be together for a while. So the plan is that Hojun comes to Denmark. I'm not sure when he will go back. Everything is quite uncertain. That's the exciting thing about life. Are your parents Korean? No. Do you want to come to Europe? Do you intend to live with Hojun? Yes, one day. One day, guys. Um, yeah, you know, this is a struggle. So, I'm gonna go home now. <laughs> Hi, Robin. What are you doing? I was running. Why are you outside? I was doing a YouTube video. Oh my god. I just found Robin. What the hell? Yep. Okay guys, I decided to go out again because like, I'm not done talking to y'all, so yeah. So someone actually asked if Hojun is possessive over me. I don't think he's possessive. So the thing is, I have a neighbor. He keeps peeking into my window every time he walks past my door. My front door is like made of glass. So it's basically like a huge window into my home. But this guy is like peeking into my window. Hojun is like feeling quite uncomfortable with that, which is so understandable. I'm going to Korea soon. What are some pros and cons of living in Korea that you've experienced? For me, there are too many people and I'm not used to that. It can get quite crowded and also the summer is warm and humid. The pros are so many, like I just think that you should look at TikTok and see all the fun things that people are doing in Korea. Can do dance. 
Do you and Hojun have a specific pattern or a set of timing for when to call? We don't have any routine together right now. How did you tell your parents about your boyfriend and did they agree immediately? I was financially independent from them. I decided on my own to go and visit him no matter what. Um, they did not try to stop me, but it's not because they are irresponsible or anything. They weren't very a fan of it, but they let me do it in the end because I insisted. So, Not to say that you should do it because you have to be careful and you have to really trust your gut feeling. Someone is saying, do you know when you will return to Korea? No, I don't yet, but I have an idea. How and why did you start your YouTube channel? I think I started to post on YouTube because I had some videos from Korea from the first time we met each other and I don't think that they are so fun or exciting. It basically shows when we were together for the first time physically. Why I did it was because I just wanted to keep the memories and make a vlog out of it. Let's move on. Where do you study? At the University of Copenhagen. How to find a green flag guy online or on Ome TV? Ome TV is about luck, isn't it? That you find someone you like. The best advice I would give you is be confident in who you are and what you stand for, what you are worth. Okay, let me just answer one question here. What is better, to spend time with your friends or being alone? For now, I would say being alone is better for me. How's your days going without Hojun? I would say I'm an independent girl, so... It's definitely a different lifestyle. It's not that bad being here, but I do miss him and I'm looking forward to him coming to Denmark. Okay, someone is asking, have you ever fought before? Of course we have had our arguments. What if I steal your boyfriend from you? You can try. International age. I want to know about your first kiss. We were just in the hotel room and then he just asked me if he could kiss me and then I just walked up to him and kissed him. Jen, are you fluent in Danish and Korean? Only fluent in Danish. How did you handle LDR while studying and with time differences? I think if I had met Hojun while doing my bachelor, it would not be as easy. The time difference, well, you know, you just have to accept the time zone differences. That's how you overcome it and you will get used to it and you will find a way to be happy with it too. What was your first impression when you finally met Hojun? He was quite tall. I couldn't really see him, his face. I did think that he had a very long face because of his mask. Once he took off the mask, it was completely just how I imagined he would look like. I was like, wow by him. How do you do such a perfect liner? So guys, if you know me, I always wear eyeliner. Actually, there is a sad backstory to why I am so good at making my eyeliner, I guess. So the thing is that I grew up in a town where I was the only Asian person. It wasn't easy for me to stand out so much and I wish I fit in every time I was reminded that I was different. I don't know how to say this. I used to be very insecure about my eyes. I was the only Asian person in school, in the neighborhood, in the town. I felt really like excluded. There are more reasons to why I felt excluded. It was not only because of my looks, but also the culture my parents had and Danish culture. There were many things that made me stand out and made me different from the other kids. I, of course, always had smaller eyes than the Danish kids around me. I guess that's how I started drawing my eyeliner. I think I started when I was like 12 years old. It was really difficult for me to feel pretty. Drawing an eyeliner um, made me feel like I had bigger eyes and I was more like the other kids as well. Guys, we have arrived at the Breffen. That is what we call it in Danish. Skal du med på Breffen? Why don't you reply to private? I do try to reply to most of my DMs, but it's not easy to keep up with. How do I get Robin to answer my DMs? Can you answer? Do you have anything to say? Someone is asking why you don't reply to DMs. I have one question for you. What is your question? Why are you standing here? Ask Robin if he needs a cute girl. What is the best way to find a boyfriend? You just shoot your shot because all guys are desperate. I'm kind of desperate as well. But people say you're not replying. But I'm, I'm just, I take a lot of time. Can you say, Sarangi? Would you use threads? We can't really use it in Denmark and I don't know, is it even available in Europe? 
like this. I can Grits? Use it. You yeah. can use it? I can use it, but I have not used it. You can use it in Denmark? I'm pretty sure I can. I could not use it in my region. Only way to keep foil. Have you ever fell for another man before meeting Hojun? Well, unfortunately, yes. It's very unfortunate, but yes, I have. I've watched all of your videos like 100 times. I love you and you're sweet and beautiful. Thank you so much. I love you. Someone actually asked when you're gonna upload your next vlog. I'm not going to. I've given up. Don't say that. <laughs> then people don't care about you. Oh. oh. Okay, so someone is asking what is your MBTI? Mine is ENFJ and I think I've become an I. What about you? INFJ. Are you serious? Yeah. Are we the same? You're just copying me. What the hell? I didn't know you were NFJ. I've always been that. Wait, no, I was SFJ for a long time. Last question is, will you come visit Vancouver? I really want to. Do you want to? I also want to go to Vancouver. I've been making a Q&A all day today. Yeah. I went outside and I found rabbits. I didn't want to see you actually. But I, <laughs> then I just saw you and I had to say hi. What do you mean? I didn't want to see you and then I just saw you and I was like, oh, I have to say hi. Pretend to be nice. Oh my god, look at him. few moments later hey guys i think i answered quite many questions today and i'm really happy that you wanted to watch it and get to know me better i arrived home so i'll see you in the next video and i love you guys so much and thank you so much for all the sweet comments i hope you have a good day and please keep on smiling i'll catch you guys in the next video thank you for watching